Shalom everyone. Welcome to everyone in the LPR family. Thank you so much Rav Yaakov Klein for giving me another opportunity to be able to spread Torah. We're learning the Torah of the Meshiloach. And the Meshiloach in Parashat Kitisa says, he brings a very important point, a very important concept and actually the foundation of Judaism. And he says like this, Am Yisrael with the Erev Rav, because they fashioned the golden calf, because they worshipped Abu Dazara of the Heta Egil, they made a perud, they made a disconnect. It was a disunity in Am Yisrael because not everybody wanted to worship the golden calf. And through the Mishkan, through the tabernacle, which we were commanded to erect with, Am, with Moshe Rabbeinu, Am Yisrael together, it actually brought a tikkun, it actually brought an atonement, or they rectified the sin of the golden calf. And the man Shiloh, the Ishbit Sarov, says in the man Shiloh, he says and he brings how every different melacha, every different action in the Mishkan was an atonement for the sin of the golden calf, for the Heta Agil. And I read you what he says. He says, for example, when they worship the golden calf, when they actually brought sacrifices to the golden calf, who neget ketorit. It's the exact opposite of the ketorit. Why? Because we know the 11 spices in the Ketoret, one of the spices had a very foul order smell to it. That symbolizes the Jews that have no Torah and Mizvot, yet we still connect them, we still bring them, we still join them in Klal Am Yisrael. He says, This is the important point. When all the souls, when all the souls, of when all of Am Yisrael come together, that's when, when creation comes together. When Bnei Yisrael come together, creation comes together. Because we know when Hashem created the world, it says, Yom Ehad. Ehad means Ehad Um Yuhad. One. Hashem is one. Hashem is unified. We have to unify Hashem. And how do we unify Hashem? By unifying everyone in Am Yisrael. So he says, the man Shiloh says, when all of Am Yisrael come together in one, in unity, that's when the whole creation comes together. He brings it down from the Zohar, and he says, this is the Ratzon of Hashem, this is the will of Hashem. So by the sin of the golden calf, by the Heta Ege, when they worshipped the golden calf, and they brought sacrifices to the golden calf, they made a disunity, they made a disconnect. They weren't together, because like we said, not everybody wanted to worship the golden calf. But when we have the Mishkan, when we have the Ketoret, and everyone comes together, and all the spices, even that 11th spice that smells, doesn't have such a good smell to it. But when it comes together, that's connecting everyone together, and that's when we make unity in Am Yisrael. So i just like to bring out this point by different things that I saw. You know, the Zohar Kadosh brings a concept of Ti'upta Dinukba, where a lady, she yearns, she craves to connect back with her husband. That's really the essential point, or that's the essential meaning of the whole creation. HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the Shekhinah Kedosha, the Shekhinah Kedosha, which we symbolize as a female, always yearns and always craves to go back to her husband, which is HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And how do we do that? By when we come all together, when we connect everyone with another, that's when the Kedusha, that's when the Shekhinah comes back to Hashem Barach. Because we we know in Shira Shirim, the Song of Songs, Shema Melech writes, Tocho Ratsuf Ahava. Hashem in of Hashem is Ahava, is love, is harmony, is unity. So what does Hashem ask of us? Hashem asks that we also have love and harmony and unity in one another. So I saw something beautiful from the Debre Shlomo of Babov. The Debre Shlomo of Babov brings the Olot Ephraim and he says, Ikar Hiyutam Vikiyumam Shel Yisrael Talui the only way we really have life in this world is when we connect ourselves to Hashem. As we know, it says in the Pasuk, If you cling to God, if you come close to God, that's the real life. That's when you're really living. So he says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ehad Yahid Um Yuhad Be'ahdut V'nikra Adon HaShalom Hashem is the king of Shalom. Hashem is one. We unify Hashem. So if Hashem is one, and Hashem is the king of love, 
or the king of unity, or the king of peace. Lachen, Israel If we really want to connect ourselves to Hashem, which is He is the uni- He's one, He's unified, and if we want to connect ourselves to Hashem, Mehem Gam We also have to be unified one another. We also have to have that peace for us to come close to the King of Peace, who is Hashem Barach. And He says, Look at it. In all the Galuyot, in all the exiles, the only way, our ticket out of all the exiles was Ahdut. The prerequisite for leaving the Galut, for leaving every exile, is Ahdut, is peace, is love, is unity. He says, look at Mitzrayim. What did Moshe Rabbeinu have to do? It says in the Pasuch, Lech et ziknei Yisrael. Go and unify, unify all the elders of Israel. They all got together. Look at the Galut Babel, when they left the first diaspora, which is after the destruction of the first Beit HaMikdash. What does it say? It says in Sefer Nechamiah, They all got together with that mindset to build the Beit HaMikdash, the second Beit HaMikdash, but they came all together. Look at the Galut of Ahasuerus, which is Mordechai and Haman and Esther. Esther commands Mordechai, Go and gather all the Jewish people. Again, everybody united. Everybody unified. And he says that's what's going to happen in the last redemption, in the last exodus, which is be speedily in our days. He says, In the Galut, in the Ula Atida, Asof, Esof Yaakov. Hashem says, Everyone will come together. And when everyone comes together, I will come and redeem them. So our ticket out, our, the only way we'll leave this ex- exile and merit to have the redemption in Exodus is when we all unify together. All different backgrounds, all different customs, everyone together be'ahdut, be'ahabab, with peace, with love, with harmony, everyone unified. And as we know, nothing stands in the way of unity. Like we see in Migdal Babel all the way in Parashat Noah, they were all unified. They were all unified to go against God, to go against Hashem Barach. But did Hashem get rid of them? No. He only dispersed them. He only spread them out. The ticket to redemption is unity. And Ba'azat Hashem, if we have unity, we we'll merit to see the coming of Mashiach Zedkenu, the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash. And like we said, the creation will all come together because that's the takhlit of the creation. The takhlit of the creation, the point of the creation was that everyone come together when we all come together, may we merit to see Mashiach Sitkenu in the rebuilding of the Beit Mikdash. Thank you so much for watching.